Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. I found this Medium article and I thought it was worth reading, so enjoy. It was one of the hottest days in the hottest district of Kerala, i.e. Palakkad. I was bug hunting all day and the sweat was soaking me all over. I was disturbed and fed up because I couldn't find anything till noon. In the noon I was particularly hunting on this financial company's different domains. Let's say redacted.com. This is a two-part story. Part 1. The secrets on port 8081. As my undefined methodology on bug hunting, if I am having a bad day, I'll just dig up everything on census and show them. So I did the same thing here also. I just went to census and dug up every IP address of redacted.com. After digging for some time, I saw that interesting IP addresses which have so many ports open. 8443, 8081, 8080 and so on. So this IP was fishy particularly on port 8080 and 8081. I noticed that this IP address is related with Mongo Express and Jenkins from the sidebar of Census. But I was still not sure about whether the IP belongs to redacted.com. So before exploring those ports and everything I went just to HTTPS www.sslshopper.com slash SSL checker HTML just to check if the IP address belonged to redacted.com. Interestingly, it belongs to redacted.com and also associated with many other online properties of this particular company. So I straight up opened port 8081 first, so the IP address and then port 8081 on HTTPS and I felt a moment like the rain on a desert. That was an exposed Mongo Express panel without any authentication. Since I got free access to this panel, I was able to do whatever I want, including configuring existing databases, creating a new database, deleting existing databases and more. Due to some severe misconfigurations, I was able to, follow, to access the following paths to 8081-db-config, db-config-system.sessions, d-admin-system.users, the admin endpoint slash system dot version and the local as startup dot log and most importantly i found the admin credentials from admin db in salt form and an attacker was able to edit them so i reported to the company immediately by explaining everything and rated as critical read part two for some real twists so part two, the gem on port 8080. So as I explained on the first part, I was checking all these ports on this majestic IP address and we have completed the mysteries on port 8081. Some of you may have thought that is why I tested 8081, why is that I tested 8081 before 8080? Only one reason, 8080 was giving a 404 error page and I thought it would be a dead end. So, my friends, if you ever come across such ports and with a 404 page, do not close the tab and go behind another instance. This happened on those days when I started fuzzing for directories, irrespective of the status code, whether it may be 200, 404 or 403. Most of the times, these gems are inside these pages. So I started fuzzing for the IP address by using my word list in search of some juicy directories using fuff. I was not expecting something big, but only one word was giving it 200, okay? And that was slash Jenkins slash script. I suggest all of you to add this part to part of your fuzzing list. I immediately opened that path and my heart beat started increasing. Port 8081 was an open door to Mongo Express, but 8080 was something more special. It was an open door to Jenkins. Unauthenticated me entered into this Jenkins panel. There were so many paths and information was available there, but we're not going to talk about that now. The main thing there is that I got open access to this and more importantly to the script console which was open. So I got to the script page as you can see on screen. I remembered seeing random tweets on RCE on Jenkins instances on Twitter, so I took Twitter and search for it as well as read previously available Jenkins RCE reports on Hacker One. I understood at this moment and I acted immediately. All I needed to do was inject some simple commands on this slash script console. Some commands I tried were the ls execute.txt, ps.execute.txt and println who am I execute.tests. These commands will produce proper output from inside. For example, if you give the println dot 
println who am I dot execute dot text on script console the out will be Jenkins. That's it. I remember I immediately prepared all of the pox and everything and reported it to the team as report number two. I was hoping that you will accept both as critical, but he took the RCE seriously and duplicated Mongo Express exposure since a fix will be effective on both instances. But the bounty was 2x of what I expected and he surprised me with this at midnight. As you can see on screen, a nice $30,000 bounty. In short, use simple census search like target.com and services.software.product equals Jenkins. Or show them queries like this, set cookie mongo express equals 200, okay? Add Jenkins add slash Jenkins slash script to your word lists. Major takeaways here are to never believe a 404 page and census and Shodan are your real friends. That's all from me and share this if you found it helpful. I'll be back with a new write-up. Very well done, my friend. Very well done. Good job. Let's give him a clap as well because I think that is well deserved. If you want to read this article for yourself, please feel free to check. There we go. Check the uh, description below as I'll put a link there so you can go check it out for yourself and give this amazing hacker a clap. Thank you for watching. You have been amazing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.